This Christmas, come to Radio Shack for name brand gifts on sale. This fabulous Memorex camcorder with 12 times power zoom is just $8.99. A Memorex VCR with on-screen programming is only $239.95. Famous Optima stereo equipment is on sale, too. Like this digital receiver, just $249.95. Or a new Optimus digital CD player with a remote, just $139.95. All this and more at Radio Shack. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. This time we'll be taking a look at Radio Shack. Radio Shack was founded in 1921 and after 96 years they're closing all their stores and liquidating all their assets. This first store we're looking at is one of only four left in the Phoenix area and actually one that I grew up going to as a kid. So it is really sad to see it like this. Out of all the Radio Shack stores I visited for this video, this store had the most inventory left, and I actually did buy some stuff, which we'll see later on in the video. Now what we're looking at here is the cover of the very first Radio Shack catalog published in 1939. Radio Shack was founded by the brothers Theodore and Milton Deutschman in Boston in 1921, like I mentioned. So they almost made it a hundred years. Kind of sad that they didn't make it a hundred years. That would have been cool to see a Radio Shack hundredth year anniversary. Now in 1962 they were purchased by Tandy and that's when you start seeing all the Tandy Corporation branding on a lot of their stuff. kind of cool to look at these old catalogs. Uh, RadioShackCatalogs.com is a really cool website. They have pages and pages from all of these catalogs that you can look at. And I love the 90s one there, that one's cool. Now, Radio Shack dropped the Tandy name in 2000 and the last public catalog was published in 2003. Here's the second location I visited, and this one always cracked me up because that D and that H in the Radio Shack sign there, those have been broken for a long time and they just never bothered to fix them. If we pan over to the left here, we have a Sears store, a Sears outlet, another dying dinosaur. All Radio Shack stores are set to close by May 31st, 2017, so if you've got one near you, now's the time to go visit it before it's gone. And also, as you can see here, they've really marked things down here. And one thing in particular that I found that was a good deal is batteries. If you're looking for weird batteries, now's the time to go to Radio Shack and see if you can get them on clearance. Like I said, this is really sad to see because I grew up going to Radio Shack. As a kid, I would go to the one in the mall to ogle all the stupid little games and remote control cars. And when I got into video game collecting, I'd go quite a bit looking for, you know, odd power cables and AV cables and stuff. So this is really sad to see. You can see the components they have left over are just thrown in boxes here. And here's the uh, some of the pricing for the store fixtures that are on sale. If you need shelving, you might want to go hit up your local Radio Shack. Make this Christmas special with an electronic handheld game or educational toy from Radio Shack. For pure enjoyment or to help your child learn, we've got the best selection and the best prices. Radio Shack's your Christmas wonderland. Radio Shack, touch technology. What we're looking at here is some of the various artifacts from Radio Shack that I've acquired over the years. But uh, first, let's take a look at some of the things that I bought at the first location featured in this video. The first thing I picked up was this box of batteries for just a couple of bucks, which if you know what these go for individually, that's a smoking deal. So if you need batteries, like I said, go to Radio Shack now. And I also picked up this cassette adapter because I actually drive a 2004 pickup truck that has a CD player and a cassette deck. So I've been using this to play uh, my phone through the 
stereo and I thought that was new old stock but it says general wireless on it so it's pretty new and then here I bought this soldering iron also from Radio Shack because I've got some projects that I want to start working on soon so needed a soldering iron so yeah just pick this stuff up if you need stuff like this now's the time to go get it before the stores close on May 31st now this little thing here is something that I actually also bought at that first store in the video but I bought it when I was a kid at that store and this is a USB uh, PlayStation to USB adapter and I've actually used this a lot over the years to play computer games using my PlayStation 1 adapter so it's cool that I've had that since I was a kid and then here's an example of one of their weird electronic games that they made and I actually have a series of videos I do called The Game Shack, just about Radio Shack toys and games. And I did a whole episode just on this specific uh, game right here. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. And then also here we've got the QCAT barcode scanner, which if you're not familiar with this, it's one of the biggest marketing disasters ever and uh, Radio Shack was involved with it. They actually invested 30 something million dollars into this thing and manufactured it for digital convergence. And if you look on the bottom here it actually says that it was manufactured by Radio Shack and it's got one of their catalog numbers on it. And they actually gave these things out for free to their customers in their stores, although I got mine through my Wired magazine subscription. And you could use this to scan barcodes and magazine articles and advertisements and it would take you to those advertisers web pages but nobody used this thing and like I said it was one of the biggest marketing debacles ever now down here we've just got some more examples of their weird electronic games this raceway one was actually one that I got for Christmas from my grandparents when I was a kid so I've had this thing for a long time These other ones, though, I have gotten over the years at like thrift shops and stuff like this weird-ass clown pinball game, which is actually a pretty fun game, though. And then just the other day, I picked up this championship golf game, which I'm pretty excited to get into, and I noticed just a little bit ago that somebody crossed out the Ages 6 thing on there, Ages 6, and I replaced it with 66, which is pretty hilarious, but... Um, this thing's complete and it looks like it's new on the inside and was barely used and has everything so like I said this will be interesting to dig into I like golf games so that's cool and then lastly we have one of these science fair like 60 in one things but there was also smaller ones and bigger ones and these were something that I always looked at when I was in the Radio Shack stores when I was a kid and I'm really excited to have one now you could do all kinds of things like wire up an AM radio and listen to AM radio stations with this and all kinds of other fun little electronics projects it was one of the few educational toys that I think any kid wanted when they were a kid. So it's really sad, like I said, after almost a hundred years to see Radio Shack go. But if you go thrifting or garage selling, you might be able to find some artifacts from Radio Shack for yourself. Okay. What? The 80s called. They want their store back. It's time for a new Radio Shack. This last Radio Shack location we're going to take a look at is actually closed. Um, if you're familiar with the Mesa area, this sign is actually kind of iconic. This sign and this location were here for a very long time. And I wanted to get some footage of this big sign before it was either torn down or replaced with something else. And you can see it's pretty weather beaten and worn out now, so I'm sure it'll be gone pretty quickly. And here's the empty store itself. Now, everyone thought Radio Shack was going to be gone in 2015, but they were acquired by General Wireless and they thought they were going to be able to save them, but fortunately, after only two years, Radio Shack's going through its second bankruptcy and they'll soon be gone forever with everything liquidated and closed by May 31st. The store sign's pretty beaten up too, it looks like. And here we can take a look at the uh, inside of the store through the window. And we'll see that that 2014 Super Bowl commercial that we just watched is kind of strangely prophetic because this store looks just like the one on the end of that commercial, completely empty except for the shelves and some racks. It looks like the 1980s really did come and get their store back.
Something else that's been kind of interesting is Radio Shack's Twitter account has kind of come alive and has been tweeting a lot about their clearance sales, and we're even tweeting out Happy Mother's Day tweets on Mother's Day. So, to me, it was kind of like the band on the Titanic playing while the Titanic sunk. Pretty soon, this is going to be all that's left of Radio Shack. And the Radio Shack and Tandy names will just be another footnote in retail history. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this episode of Retail Archaeology. Don't forget to follow us at the social media links down below because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. Also, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and if you got some more time, why don't you check out some of these other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.